guys thank you for tuning in to another video so i did go ahead and pre-record this one um you have already probably seen this look on my channel but i wanted to talk about a few products that i am planning on getting rid of i need to declutter i don't reach for them i don't use them i didn't care for them that much or I've had them for way too long. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Somebody's out there mourning the line. You know, it's that same neighbor. It's like, how much grass cutting you going to do? Like, anywho, I got lipstick stains all over. But anywho let's go ahead and jump into the products that I am about to declutter so the first one is this palette by Ace Butte I think it's Butte or Butte it is their flare palette as you know what I need to get my life <laughs> um as you can see this is a very pretty palette has this beautiful pop of color actually if you few pops of color this gives me fall vibes I maybe use this palette two or three times but I don't he ain't thought about mowing that lawn all day until now um I don't reach for it I have so many other palettes with these like blue and green tones and i feel like you can find pops of orange and purple and pink in almost every palette just about so because i don't reach for that one not that it you know is not good quality but i don't need it i have not used it and honestly i have not touched it in almost like six months or so so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one the next palette is by b bella the life and pastel palette now when you look at it it looks pretty i was really excited for this palette when i saw it on um, their instagram before they released it i was really really excited for it but you know how sometimes pictures are very i'm about to go outside and be like hey now just playing when you look at um things online on instagram it just looks it looks a lot different from when you actually receive the product and i think i used this palette maybe twice but for me like i said i have so many colorful palettes um like from glam light to juvia's place palettes that i just feel like this i know i'm not going to get much use out of it i honestly like i said i don't reach for it i used it once since i've had it and i purchased it when it first released which was some months back so I am going to go ahead and declutter that one. Uh, usually fun little palettes like this I give to my three-year-old niece. Is she three or is she two? Girl, don't give me the line. But I usually give to her because she likes to play in makeup and, you know, those fun, pretty pops of color. So I haven't decided yet or if I'm just going to go ahead and toss it. The next product. I took my lashes off just to put this on to make sure that I was doing the right you know doing the right thing by getting rid of it but it is the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara and I honestly it's not a game changer it's nothing special to it I know I'm not going to use it or like you know I know if I don't really care for it I mainly gravitate towards my Essence Lash Princess or the Morphe what is it Morphe Make It Big I do want to try the new Elf uh, mascara which is the big mood I see that Ulta now has it so I'm gonna go ahead and order that and see how I like it see how I feel about it and just kind of go from there but I personally don't care to spend a lot of money on mascara um, because those you have to change and discard so soon so I just kind of stick to drugstore mascara but um nonetheless that one is getting up out of here the next thing that i want to talk about baby Too faced lip injection maximum plump now for mother's day 
my husband went to Ulta and was trying to, you know, buy me some things. And one of the girls talked him into buying this. When I tell you, I put that thing on my lips. Like, I don't really care for lip plumping glosses anyway. But I'm like, okay, he spent, what is that thing, $30 on that? So I'm like, I'm going to use it. Like, in my mind, I'm like, just put it on before you do your makeup. You know, that way, you know, your lips aren't dry. You'll get a little plump and then wipe it off, blah, blah, blah. Baby, I put that thing on and we had somewhere to go. I put that on my lips. And let me tell you, all of this turned red. I've never been alert. Like, the only thing I can say I'm allergic to is like mosquito bites. And I only say that because I swell up and turn red. But this, I was red all around my mouth. It looked like I had webs coming down my chin. And I was itching on my face. It caused me to have an anxiety attack. Like I was freaking out. So that I saved it just for this video. But that's going to go in the garbage right now. Because no, I will never. And as much as I wanted to be excited for the Fenty heat, I'm afraid of the whole lip plumping because of that. So yeah, girl, I almost fell out when I saw that my lips do that uh-uh the next three products are by beauty creations these are their matte lipsticks and who doesn't love a good matte um I have the shades barely naked and I'll show you and then the next one is sweetheart and I feel like this is the one I got the most use out of. It is definitely a cool tone. Um, might not look that way on camera, but it's definitely cool tone. And then the last shade is Totally Nude, which is totally not. Um, it definitely looks more pinky, which I don't care for. I like a true nude. So, um, I have truly been enjoying the Juvia's Place lipsticks those are definitely like those have been my go-to um like come on now oh hi <laughs> um and then obviously dose of colors so Mommy's recording. Can I go to the hotel? Oh, okay. Mommy's recording. Okay. You're gonna okay. use you're gonna use dance card. Okay. <laughs> so um okay. So <laughs> anywho, the next uh products that I want to talk about are two blushes. Um I purchased these because of juicy jazz and i purchased these a while ago so nothing too recent but she always used to talk about the toasted cinnamon burt's bees and bespoke blush by essence and I'm going to wait for him to do what he's going to do. Okay? Why did everybody tell me? Yeah. <coughs> Your children will not let you be great. I swear. He um, is my special boy. He's autistic. So I just... I let him do what he's going to do. <laughs> In you, I do not reach for these blushes at all. Like, I am torn between do I keep toasted cinnamon because it definitely is a very warm blush. 
but I don't know like let me know in the comments if you guys think I should keep this or if I should just get rid of it let me know I'll hold on to it just just in case because I feel like that would be a nice blush for fall seeing as how I don't think you can really wear the pinks and you know bright colors in the fall and winter but just let me know what you think that's the only one that I'll probably hold on to the last two items do everybody remember when makeup Shayla and color pop how many years ago was that like this is the shade boom man and it's like I didn't know whether to keep it as like a collector's item but I have become that person that I don't too much care for highlighter or if I do wear it like usually when I put it on I just do my nose and my cupid's bone so it's like uh, I don't use it it's just sitting there collecting dust and I feel bad because it's like I always told myself like I'm gonna just keep it because it was a makeup Shayla collab like come on now but I don't use it so I don't know let me know what you guys think and the last one is Summer Haze by Artist Couture. Very pretty. Girl, let me not move that too much for it. But I don't use them. And I feel really bad for like getting rid of them. Um, sometimes I think like, well, if you do, if you were to do someone's makeup, which I really honestly don't care for that. Like, I don't feel like I'm perfect or at that point where I feel comfortable doing someone else's makeup. And I thought about it like, well, what if you do, or what if a family member asks you to do their makeup? You can have those loose highlighters to put on them if they want that highlighted look. So, I don't know. I don't know, what should I do? But definitely just decluttering those two for sure. Um, like I said, because I don't use them and not that they were bad highlighters like the colors are very beautiful but i just don't use them so that is it honestly for today's video i just wanted to talk to you guys and upload something um in regards to some items that i'm going to be getting rid of and make sure you guys come back to see me i you know what, I can't even, I don't even know whether I should apologize for the distraction or, you know, because that's who my baby is. I let him be him. And I swear it makes my day like it does. But anywho, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.